Wagner's a morning guy. It's been up for hours. <laughs> Sean, uh, before 10.30, getting breakfast? Rare. I'm tired. I'm wasted. I love you, darling. Chicago has McDonald's. Yes, they do. And As gonna... does almost, you name a city. Okay, Tucson. Got a, got a McDonald's. Paris. Got a McDonald's. Actually, I've been to the one in Paris. How miserable of an American <laughs> am I? I've been to the one in Rome, and there's like a trivia fountain like in whatever. Oh my God. Uh, today, McChicken Biscuit on the breakfast menu at McDonald's. We love McChickens. We love biscuits. Put them together. It's got to be a home run, right? You pull out in front of me. Don't you dare. Uh, welcome to Number Six with Cheese. Welcome to another video. Sixers, let's go. Hi, can I get um, two of the chicken uh, biscuit sandwiches? Is that okay. a, a thing? Okay, so that'll be 335 next one, please. Alrighty, thank you. Yeah, I don't blame you for saying that because they're not even on the menu. Yeah, not on the menu, it's weird. And it's like a digital menu. McDonald's. You, take the you didn't get that JPEG yet? Yeah. Throw it up there. It's a flash drive. Can't be how it is. Because I had the flash drive in my vagina. Snaper cheese. Two for three bucks. Thank, thank you. you. This bag weighs less than. Feathers? No, there's no way. Yeah, I lied. Well, I mean, I guess how many feathers? Thousands. Thousands and thousands <laughs> and thousands? Mm, might be close. Why the hell are you dressed like a chicken? Yeah, two for three. Damn, the McGriddle's on that too? Saw the ad on the window. Bro, this is always someone parking like a douche right there. That's gotta be a thing then. There's no way, because that's the same car. I remember yeah. that smashed up. Is that a security guard? Might be. What a dick. <laughs> McChicken biscuits. Three dollars for the whole bag. Acquired jump cut. See, a jump cut is when you go from here to here pretty seamlessly. I was thinking about how when we were down south together, we got that Bojangles biscuit and it was like eating the dust out of a vacuum bag. Yeah, dude. This is the Cajun filet biscuit from Bojangles. Cheers. Cheers. Oh man, uh, that has been under a heat lamp for a week and a half. I was gonna say a month. Oh, it's like chewing on sand. <laughs> Spices are good, but yeah. that was soaking up all the liquids in my body. I got dehydrated looking at that thing, dude. When I uploaded that video, I was dehydrated. Yeah, and that. I'm hoping today is not that same. Yeah, good luck. God damn. <laughs> He's so mad. <laughs> no, I'm mad. <laughs> all right, on the show we do Corey Wagner second angles, and today, you know what, bam, let's do it. All righty, looking at the packaging, bam, open it up, and what do you know, it's a biscuit, Nothing, McChicken. You gotta put something Nothing. on this. That's wild, bro. This is the laziest promotion. I Once again, lazy promotions, I love it. They're tricking America. This is why I'm a hated man, but I think it's hilarious. My thought was like, they're gonna make that at least a different patty than the McChicken, right? Of course not, it's just a McChicken patty and just the biscuit. Yeah, bro, why would they make it? You trying to lose money? Yeah. You'd be a, you're a horrible business. Yeah, man. that's why I don't have a business. <laughs> yeah, bro. Well, of course they wouldn't make it another patty. They already got a bunch of these patties, dude. I want, I want to bite into that. I want some like, some sauce to ooze out or something. Maybe that's why the McGriddle might be the better chance one. Because that's got a little syrupiness sauce. to it. Sauce, yeah, my might This be. is so small, no way yeah. it's 150. This better be 150. Girl, wait! Once you take that bite, you can't go back to breakfast like this. Little squirt of mayo? I'm good. It's time to change your life. Okay. I do not think this is that small. I'm thinking about all the breakfast sandwiches. You seen a sausage patty on a breakfast sausage? Yeah. They're much, they're, their diameter is smaller than this, and they're thinner than this. This is a regular McChicken, uh, Patty, yeah. I don't know if I'd go as far as to say this is small for a breakfast sandwich. Maybe I woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. This is what happens when I asked Sean to get up 11 minutes <laughs> earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I've only had three cups of coffee. <laughs> All right, uh, McChicken, biscuit, 150 a piece, McDonald's, cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah, no, no liquids in my mouth. <laughs> I am chewing on a cactus. Mm -hmm. So what makes the biscuit good on anything? So like, is it good with, like, is the sausage juicy enough? So like when you add cheese to something, that, help, that helps. 
Yeah, 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 that's a good point. Isn't this then just trash with everything? But I guess with cheese, it's probably a little bit better. And with like sausage and bacon, it's fattier. So like that fattiness, like the moistness of the meat yeah, also the helps it. And whatnot. This is just the driest piece of chicken ever. Uh, I haven't had any. I mean, with the biscuit, it's yeah. like, it's just adding to the dryness. Okay. It just, it's not, it's a great taste. It just absolutely needs. It's not the chicken's fault. I, just to not blame the chicken, I right. bet solo chicken, it's really not that dry of a chicken. I think the, it's mainly the biscuit drying out. Try just chicken. <laughs> that bite was just dry. I don't think the chicken's super dry. No, I mean, something as dry as a biscuit. Yeah, yeah. See, this is why the idea to make a sauce was great. Mm -hmm. All the problems that I would have normally had go away when you have hot sauce just in the car. Oh. Remember when I said earlier you're a bad businessman? Am I a good one now? Yeah, I think you're genius. This is, I think, a new... I think you should go into every episode super angry. Me too. And then hate the thing so much. Yeah. Then you put this sauce on it. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you're like, bro, this is delicious. I turn my front upside down. Now you're just being a brilliant marketing <laughs> businessman. Mm. I see what you did. I'll take that. Oh. If that explodes, Sean's been leaving the hot sauce in my car in the dead of Chicago winter. <laughs> if that thing explodes in his car, Kylie's going to divorce me. <laughs> I will take Don't <laughs> leave it there, bro. I even pointed out last time I got in the car, I go, you left your sauce here. You and forgot. you left it again. I forgot. I don't know what we're yelling about. That car just pull up. That white lady's gonna think we're weird. <laughs> Was there an alternative? <laughs> oh, that's really good with the sauce. Way better. Still super dry. Bro, I might be anti biscuit. Biscuits are kind of dumb. A really good biscuit isn't dry. You have the crunchy outside and the soft, moist, tear it apart mm, inside. I think I've never had a good biscuit in my life. Bro. But I also don't go out to eat other than. I gotta take you down to Tennessee. Get you a nice biscuit. Yeah. I need to try that. So I'm sitting here eating trash biscuits. <laughs> Frost biscuit. Oopsies. Oh boy. That was way more. That's good. You were probably just hangry. I was very hangry. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know either. I ate it's the whole thing. Still only a buck fifty. It's kind of trash. It uh, needs, you know, know. Honestly, though, honey would have been really good with it. Honey would have been good. Cheese. I don't mind cheese on chicken. No, not at all. I think you're right where the cheese helps a lot. Make it a little bit moister. You know? I think I think so. It's got to. If you're asking me. I'd like to try a chicken sausage cheese biscuit sandwich. I'm totally down to do you that know? with you next time. That's interesting. I'll do it. Gotta get them to change their menu. I wanna do, I don't wanna build my own. I'm lazy. I'm not, I'm not going to a build a bear. I'm gonna go buy a bear, you know what I mean? I love the idea of you being in a build a bear. I, I, bro, That's just funny. High school Corey, most G gangster all time, every, would, uh, every single lady I would date, that was my move. Always kills. There's just always, All bro. these girls, these ex-girlfriends just putting a knife in their bear when you broke up. Yeah, dude, I used to get Build-A-Bears for ladies nonstop. And then there's something about turning 30. Ted, I'm alive, Johnny. <laughs> you can't really do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, so, I'm walking into one of those stores. Yeah, I go, dude. whoa, you trying to steal something? Or? <laughs> I'm going to try to do, get Kylie a Build-A-Bear. Oh, please do it. Well, listen, and then I'm just going to record her trashing me. <laughs> This episode not sponsored by Builder Bear. <laughs> um, okay, before we rate the chicken biscuit, merch out of merch out of merch out of. Sure. Look at that, the pocket shirt. Sure. Look at the hot sizzle salt. Sure. <laughs> and then we're going to Washington D.C. to take back the White House. Ah! That noise makes me uncomfortable Make and me sexually aroused. <laughs> a little bit of both. <laughs> we got a bunch of awesome stuff on there. You see the shirt, you saw the hot sauce. There's a lot of other goodies on there, koozies, stickers. Um, check it out, number 6 with cheesecom Merch shout out number one goes to Mr. Ryan Brown. <laughs> Plymouth, Michigan. Plymouth, Michigan. Three hot sauces. Bam. Thank you. Sixer sauce. Sixer sauce. Sixer sauce. Ryan, you're the best. Have you been to Plymouth? Oh, my brother lives in Plymouth. Oh, really? Is that where the Silver Dome... That was Pontiac. Pontiac's what I'm, okay, never mind. Yeah. I don't know if mm -hmm. I've been to Plymouth then. I don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I love football, and I love the fans of Detroit. And merch out at number two goes to a good friend of mine, Mr. Eric Kudis. <laughs> one of the all-time great last names. Kudis. Love it. Just such a fun dude. Uh, seriously, one of my closest friends. He got three Sixer sauces and a jump cut shirt. Oh, damn. That's a boss Thank move. you so much, Eric. Been to many a uh, Motion City soundtrack concerts with that man. Memories, dude. Memories, dude. Number six with cheese.com. Get yourself some stuff. Also, right now, if you buy three Sixer sauces, you get a free Chef Iron Mike hot sauce yeah. added to it. So, and those are so freaking tasty. Get on it. All right, Sixers, out of five creative ways to use the term desert in a PNG, how many creative ways to find 
Desert, do you give the chicken McChicken biscuit here today at McDonald's, Corey Wagner? Um, I love that they tricked America by just yeah, got us throwing. They just were like, hey, don't we got those biscuits? Throw some chicken on it. Those idiots will buy anything. Yeah, and we, us idiots do buy anything. Now that being said, I like the price too. It's like yeah. kind of a you can get a good amount of food if you can eat that whole thing without like. I mean, I guess most people might have water with them or something, but <laughs> it might be tough to eat the whole thing. But if you can, yeah, being so dry, like uh, it's probably worth a buck fifty. Mm -hmm. But it's got no sauce. It's got no cheese. It's so freaking dry. Yeah, and it's just like man, the flavor, dude, trash, kind of. Like I like chicken. Basic. It was basic. It's so basic. So like. Man, dude, I'm gonna go as low as like uh, I'm gonna only give that a one. Yeah, I'm, uh, what am I clapping for? I was the only thing that I uh, will add to what he said because everything was dead on. I think the McDonald's employee should say, "What sauce would you like with it?" Because yes. they have like I'll. I'll throw buffalo sauce on that. Why I'll, not? I'll throw sweet and sour. I don't care that it's the morning. Breakfast, yeah, who cares? I'll put ranch on it, dude. I'm from the Midwest. Yeah, be your own person, you know? Um, luckily, we had Sixer sauce, so that wasn't as much of a problem. Without Sixer sauce, that's a 1.5. Yeah, dude. Boo. Please. Boo. Boo. Back on the line. Thank you. I would avoid it. I mean, that's just a perfect trick. Hey, listen. Last we said week, all the nice things that we should say about it. Last week, Papa John's tricked us and it got a five. Papa John's, cheers. Cheers. I'm going five, baby! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! This yeah. week, McDonald's tricked us, and it didn't. it didn't. So, listen, it's a coin toss in this car. Yeah, flavor matters, man. Can't just go around tricking and expecting fives. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll be back here tomorrow with a brand new video, as we always do, Monday through Friday. Thank you so much for watching today. If you have any suggestions for where we should go, drop those below. And if you're $30 and up patron, we'll go wherever you want uh, within reason of Chicago. Is tricking how you pay for college? That's how, yeah, that's what a scholarship is. Oh, I, th I meant tricking. Oh. I have a couple questions. I'll get to those <laughs> after.